absolutely nothing puts a fire under my backyard grill like cocoa charcoal. Hi, I'm Deborah G, the Dosset Hostess. Welcome to this year's iFood TV Summer Grilling Series. A big thanks to our sponsor, A Fire, High Performance Guilt Free Grilling. Bry is to Africa as grilling is to America, both of which are for me synonymous with life on safari. The tradition stemmed from the days of early explorers, hunters and pioneers. For me, it evoked shades of pink, orange and red sunsets created by the dust and smoke from tribal fires. The lonely call of a jackal looking for his long lost love and guinea fowls kicking up dust in an attempt to find a comfortable place to settle in for the night. I had no trouble lighting the bricklets. As a matter of fact, flames immediately started licking up at my hands as if to say they have everything under control. It was easy to handle and on top of it all, it was eco-friendly. I stacked a bunch of dry coconut charcoal all across the grill area to make sure I can roast the sweet potato and stir fry the Zulu cabbage at the same time. Be sure not to start cooking too early over too hot coal. You'll be able to assess the heat by holding your hand two inches off the grill for one to two seconds. That indicates high heat. When you require medium heat, about four to five seconds, this is the temperature that most red meat needs to cook to perfection. For white meat and fish, six to eight seconds, and when burying food or to keep it warm, the coal should mostly be turned to ash and your hand tolerance eight to 10 seconds. It kept an even temperature all through the evening and stayed hot enough long after dinner so we could roast my Valborenkis for dessert on a stick. Dinner under a big old tree is really for me the only way to experience the bush. What to drink when grilling? You want to enjoy the fruit of your labor, right? I enjoy my fresh watermelon coconut drink. Coconut water is not only delicious, it also is great for hydration replaces electrolytes and is very low in natural sugar. In Africa, meals are communal. Eating with your hands becomes relaxing and an intimate activity. Ingredients are not always easy to come by and therefore when recipes get passed down from generation to generation, you will almost never find the exact measurements. The guests are arriving one by one and making their way over to the braai, drawn by the sounds of the sizzle and simmering of the Susatis and Budavors. As I hand them each a Susati straight from the fire, I announce the menu. We are starting with a fire-grilled Susati and Budavors, followed by a papaya salad, accompanied by ginger and lime sweet potatoes and Zulu cabbage. There is a sudden silence as if the animal kingdom salutes the arrival of dusk. Crickets came alive and fireflies are bouncing around in the garden. This is what summer grilling is all about. Good wine, good food and fabulous friends. Let's raise a glass to a toast. Cheers. Cheers. Moscato Allegro. Fresh, sweet, the effervescence brings out the tropical fruit in the papaya salad I made. Budavors is made with beef, a little bit of lamb fat to keep it juicy and tender. Mixture of coriander, turmeric, cinnamon, allspice, Worcester sauce and vinegar. Makes for a fabulous experience when paired with a smoky herbal animal pinotage. Snack on a stick. The society is set in a curry marinade for a week now. I chose Moscato Allegra. The fresh sweetness of this wine greet and embrace the spice beautifully. The lime and ginger dressing on the sweet potato complements the luscious mouthful musky spice of this Viognier Shiraz blend. Yaluma Vineyard refer to this blend as truly magical because of the extremely complex chemistry involved with the co-fermentation. It's all about portion control. Make sure whatever you put in your mouth is always fantastic. Remember, life is too short. Always drink, drink good, good wine. wine.